Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again for another e-vlog. <laughs> Took me a little bit. We're very excited. This time we have a double header this weekend, okay? We are going to be going with the Xfinity series down to Martinsville. That's right, we're going to do the paperclip Saturday night. Uh, we hit the track at 7.30, I'm expecting that race to be about two to three hours. We'll get out of there 11 to midnight, and then we're driving from Martinsville to Thompson Speedway in Connecticut with the Wheel and Modified Tour for their race on Sunday. It is a tight, tight, tight schedule. Very excited about it. Um, so, yeah, let's hop on board, and let's head off to our first stop of the weekend, and that's going to be at Martinsville. Let's go. All right, we are about an hour or so outside of Martinsville. Super excited for this race. Um, I like Martinsville. I love anything short track, and that's kind of why I signed up for it. I really want to kind of keep it in the short track realm unless we have these big openings where then I'll be like, okay, yeah, let's let's head out. I, th I was going to sign up for Texas, which is next week for the Xfinity Series, and decided um, there's some other stuff that I'd like to do instead and that would be uh heading up to loudon for uh i think it's the pass or the act series and an open modified event i i, I want to be up in loudon <laughs> i want to go home uh i i think that could be a lot of fun we don't do super great at loudon loudon excuse me it's definitely not someone uh someone somewhere that i've uh, really been able to get myself comfortable with but I'm hoping to gain a little bit more experience for the modified race in uh, June, you know, once we head there. So hoping maybe for a little bit like that. Why am I going so slow? My, my brain's like, I got to stay in traffic. It literally got into follow traffic mode. Whoops. Um, but yeah, so let's talk last week. Last week, dun dun dun, dun we were at uh, Richmond with the Wheel of Modifying Tour. That was so cool to be able to, one, be back with the tour and also uh, be able to bring it into victory lane. We are two for two this season so far. And Thompson, we've kind of really dominated for the past two years every time we've gone. It's really become, like, our track to lose. So I'm very hopeful um, that we can continue that momentum uh, this weekend. Doing the doubleheader always kind of messes with my head because I'm always thinking about the next race. Unfortunately, uh, but the Xfinity Series is just for fun. I just hope to not take anybody out and finish the race. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Uh, but for the Wheel of Modified Tour, I'm hoping for that win. Uh, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun at Richmond, being able to uh, race on the big track with everybody else. And, you know, we've got, uh, you know, going right into Thompson. So that's really cool. Um, and my fingers are crossed that... We're going to have a good time, and it's going to be a crazy weekend here for us. We've got a, the Xfinity Series that uh, practice qualifies on Saturday, and then uh, races Saturday night at 7.30. Now, that race last year was three hours long. So let's say it even did that, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, we're, we're talking about 10.30. Be out of there by, you know, midnight. Then drive, what, almost 12 hours? to get up to Thompson, Connecticut. Practice starts at noon. We are going to be pulling in, literally pulling in, unloading the car, and going right out for practice. I'm excited about it. What a rush. But we're going to be so tired. <laughs> uh, so <clears throat> I'm hoping for some good stuff here. Uh, it, it, you know, kind of rocket us off into uh, what a hectic weekend we have. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun with the Xfinity series and going to continue to have fun with ooh, Burger King. Hell yeah, right down the street uh, with the Wheel and Modified Tour. Soon though, Stafford's going to be starting and I still got to kind of figure out how I want to kind of do that. Do I want to set it in a separate universe or do we want to keep the realism? I don't know yet. Oh, this place is big. Bristol. Okay, I've never been in here. Truck parking, got it. I don't need any fuel, thankfully. I hate to go across the lanes, but I don't want to try to make that turn there. 
All right, let's get ourselves parked. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to uh, leave our trucks in the infield. Uh, we have to unload and bring them out. So uh, let's go park where we're going to be staging. And then uh, that's where we'll be able to start our vlog series here. Oh, interesting. Hold on. I just wanted to see. Interesting. Hold on. I'm 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 genuinely curious on something. All right. So I just wanted to see really quick. I wanted to look up here. Huh. Interesting. I just want to see what what, what did it. Yeah, actually, this is this is where I'd like to be. Right over there. Or over there. Probably right there. All right, well, back to the truck. I wasn't sure where exactly I wanted to stage, so... <laughs> Just left you here for a moment. Running very quick, you know. For, for a big guy, I got this. Let's head on up here. Easy, trucker. Holy crap. Okay, since we are uh, one of the last teams, we're going to have to kind of come on down here and uh, take one of these last stalls here. Oh, they, get, they just come down and turn around. That's kind of funny, actually. Did we get that first try? Eh. Like to do a little bit better. Back it up just to get that tire off the curb. Oops. All right. Well, I think this is going to be a good spot to stage. Let's, uh,. Drop this, we'll get the car onto the track, and yeah, you know, we're here in Martinsville, y'all. All right, we are down here in Richmond, it, uh, not Richmond, woo, Martinsville, and it is time for us to unload uh, our car and get ourselves ready for tomorrow's uh, practice qualifying and uh, race here at Martinsville. So, let's go. All right, it is Saturday, y'all. That means it is race day. We're going to head uh, over the tr tunnel to the track. Not over the tunnel. Bridge? Tunnel. Walkway? How is Martinsville made? It's not a walkway. It's not a tunnel. Pretty sure once the gate's open, it's open. So, we don't want to miss that. So, let us go cross for practice. And then we're actually going to jump right into qualifying. I might give you a little speech there. Uh, but, yeah. I'm super excited to be here with the Xfinity series, and uh, let's uh, let's make uh, Young Buck Beverage Co. proud this racing weekend.
All right. Coming off of practice, I was happy with that. I actually thought that that worked quite well. Um, we actually were on top of the pylon, so it worked out very well. I'm trying to figure out where I want to be able to be for long run speed, but I'm still kind of struggling with that because uh, a lot of the races, uh, the laps that we made, sorry, were, you know, really pushing, 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 pushing. And, you know, just trying, pretty much making qualifying laps. Ooh, that is so scary. Um, and unfortunately, uh, you can't do that here at Martinsville. You gotta, you gotta kind of conserve your tires a little bit. So I'm going to go out and try something a little bit different for qualifying and, uh, hoping that we can just do the same. We'll see you guys, uh, after. So, we didn't get the pole, which I'm actually happy about. I like a challenge, but I feel like we have a very good contending car. Uh, we are in eighth, and I, I'm not excited about starting on the outside, but I think that's actually a really good spot for us to be. Um, and I bet you we, we can work our way up to about a top five. I'm just hoping for consistency. I want to keep the car together, and I don't want to make an ass of myself. I say that every week, and I mean it every week, but I really want to stress that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make an ass of myself. So, let's uh, let's get ready for race time. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, as we get ready to head to the track. Look at that sunset over the mountain. This is actually a really good picture. Too bad I'm facing the wrong way. That is like a really good picture. Dang it. I don't know if my screenshot button works anymore. No, you're not going to let me, are you? you're not going to put me in the same exact spot. But look at that. That's so nice. All right. Well, I'm going to stop blabbing. We are going to head trackside starting 8th tonight. 250 laps. Stages ending at 60, 120-ish. And uh, going all the way to 250. I'm expecting the last stage to be uh, well spread out and uh, caution free. So I'm hoping uh, to kind of break it up. Uh, and hopefully keep our breaks, but I'm, I'm excited for this one, guys. So let's head trackside, and uh, we'll see you guys afterwards.
All right, now I realize as I started to leave, you can hear that I'm coming down with some sickness, by the way. Uh, as I was getting ready to leave, I realized that some of the audio got a little corrupt at the end of the race. So let's talk about it and drive up to Connecticut. So for us, it was not a good day in the Xfinity series, which kind of sucks. I just want us to have an average finish. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that we won a race with them this year and you know we, we finished at Las Vegas I want more of that I, I want to make it past stage one so uh, we had a pretty fast car we were uh, pretty high on the pile on we were first at one point in practice worked our way down to fifth and then went out for qualifying and qualifying was a little bit rougher went a little bit further back not that bad to be honest I was still feeling really good starting eighth uh, went out for the race and ended up uh, getting sideways. So that was a little sucky. But uh, overall, fun experience. Just wish that I was able to keep the car together and be able to finish the race. So we are all packed up now. 10 hour drive up to Thompson, Connecticut for a noon start to practice. Noon noon 30 practice, 3.30 qualifying, 4.30 race. So it should be a good one. 150 laps at Thompson with a halfway break. Um, and we're two for two this year with the Wheel of Modified Tour, so I'm hoping to be able to continue that as we head up 84 here. But I'll see you guys once we get closer. All right, welcome back. We are about just about an hour out from Thompson. We'll be heading into, actually just crossed into Connecticut, so we'll be popping in there shortly. And it's funny, this is back-to-back -back weeks, believe it or not, of actually coming up to uh, New England. We are going to go back home and then drive back up here next week for Loudoun for their Northeast Classic. Uh, we're going to be with the past Super Late Models as well as I want to do the Open Modified. Oh, it is Tulane. That's what I thought it was. Well, I'm going to be here with the other Featherlight because I bet you we're going the same place. But it's been actually a really nice drive up. Uh, 84 to 95 or 87 to 95 I can't remember what it was uh, not as scenic as some of the other routes we usually take so there is that I'm hoping my illness is not going to slow me down in the car <coughs> I really do look forward to being here at Thompson with the Wheel of Modified Tour we've been very dominant at Thompson and I'm really hoping maybe we can continue that I don't want to be the asshole who's winning all the time, but we do good, good at Thompson. Like, really good. And it's I think it's partially because every week we're racing at Stafford, which, although different, is relatively the same. I know we were following, but I'm going to pass you, and I'll just meet you there. But, um, yeah, we've been really dominant there, so I'm hoping we can get some good speed there with us uh, this weekend. It's a little bit bummer. I was actually hoping to do a double header up here. I was hoping to be with the past super late models, but unfortunately, uh, they were yesterday. So that was on Saturday. We were with the Xfinity series. Now, I bet you we would have had more luck up here if we just brought everything up here, but I really wanted to be in the Xfinity series again. So, yeah, that is kind of like what the schedule is looking like for us. in the next coming weeks. I was going to scoot over, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be our exit. Ooh, it slows down to 55, too, so... I get closer into that range, get ready to pop out here. Hope you guys enjoyed the drive. Uh, for those of you who were with the truck sim, if you guys watch that video, I'm just going to put it as a time lapse at the end of the first one. Uh, just because it'd be another half hour of talking and I don't have the voice or the energy to talk for that long. Okay, 
get on down here. That's right, that's a do not enter there, so. It's kind of down the back roads and back sideways to get down to Thompson and Stafford. Excited for the Stafford season. <laughs> That'll be in a couple weeks. Sorry for coughing into the microphone. Can't help it. But I'll be super excited for that, where the vlogs will change just a little bit. Sorry, I don't have a lot of words to be able to share today, y'all. So I don't even know what it is. It could be allergies. It could be the flu. It could be a cold. It could be COVID. I don't know. The only thing that I know is that I didn't have this prior to going to the dentist where they sucked out and made my mouth so dry and so cold. I'm not saying it's related, but it could be. Making me ill from that. But... Whatever I'm fighting right now is not good. Oh, hey, look at that. We just passed the 20,000 mile mark. Nice. We're at 20,062 now. Neat. Well, congratulations to us. Hey, Kyle. Water, groceries, and pharmacy. Huh. Weird. All right. So this is uh, going to be like an industrial park that we're going to park into. That's usually where we are. We are visiting Thompson three times this year with the Wheel of Modified Tour. Uh, there's going to be a couple oval dates, but I don't know if I'm actually going to go to any of their extra ones yet. Uh, if so, we'll be doing it with our open modified car from New Hampshire instead of coming all the way up from Charlotte. <clears throat> and we're a little bit ahead of schedule. 8.15, not bad. I was planning to be here at 9, so... Something like this. It's usually kind of what we're shooting for. And it's the only spot that we can fit. So, that should be good. Let's get unpacked and let's see how we did. All right. Not bad. Surrounded by industrial stuff. Hey, Steve. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Thompson, everybody. Uh, we've got like three hours to sleep <laughs> uh, before we got to unload and get the car through tech and uh, head out for practice here at Thompson. So the next thing we will see is after practice, but I look forward to it nonetheless. So we'll see you guys after practice. <laughs>
All right, not bad. Welcome back from practice to us, to you. Words are hard. Um, so practice was uh, pretty good, actually. I felt uh, really in the groove. We were able to uh, kind of cap out uh, at the top of the board during practice, so I'm feeling very confident for our odds. Now, we've got long run speed, and we can do quick bursts, but like really kind of having to put it all together and hope for the best that we don't have a ton of cautions because these cars are fast. Uh, I The only thing in my favor is that I have the ability to uh, have long run speed. So we will see how that's going to end up. Oop, hold on one second. So, yeah, about time for us to head out for qualifying here at Thompson with the Wheel of Modified Tour. Now, because we do have to start the race on these tires, and if I can get a good enough lap in, I'm only going to run one lap here. I'm going to come sit next to you, Steve. That okay? That okay? That good? Um, we're going to try to just run one lap and try to post the best time that we possibly can. So that's the plan. There's only like 29 of us here or something like that. It's not a lot of us, unfortunately. So let's see how we do. We'll see you after qualifying. <laughs>
All right. Well, that's three for three, everybody. Even with this illness that I'm trying to get uh, is kicking my butt, we were able to actually really last minute. I think it was only the last four laps where we were able to get out into the lead. Uh, we won this thing here at Thompson, the Icebreaker 150 with the Wheel and Modified Tour. Um, awesome work by the team. By the team, by everybody getting everything set up, the racers for keeping everything as clean as we possibly could. Uh, we were battling a lot of people up front for a long time, and everybody kept it clean. I did have one instance running into Justin Bonsignor, but uh, we won't act like that happened. He and I have some beef from last year, and I think that I couldn't let it go <laughs> when I knew the eight wheels was going to turn better than four. But that's three for three for this season, which is uh, astonishing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled to death that, that we've been lucky enough to be able to do that. I hope people aren't going to be pissed off that I keep on winning. I keep on turning up the difficulty. But Thompson's one of those places that we always kick butt at. So that's another win in the victory column for us. And it felt really good after uh, the disaster that was the Xfinity race this uh, weekend. So it was worth the drive up here to compete with the Wheel of Modified Tour. So super excited about that. Next stop for the Wheel of Modified Tour is going to be Mananoc Speedway uh, later. I think it's in May. So we got about a month off with the Wheel of Modified Tour. Uh, and we're going to be actually doing Slinger Speedway in uh, place of that, which means a long drive out west. But uh, overall, a great weekend. Now it's time for us to head down south, get ourselves packed right back up to head out onto the road once again. Uh, for next week at Lincoln. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoy what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And I really do appreciate your continued support. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.